All right, let's take a look at a probability problem. What we're going to be doing is uh, looking at rolling two dice. The first dice has the vowels, which we're going to include Y, the vowels A, E, I, O, U, and Y. So it's a six-sided dice, just like a regular one, but with letters on it. The second has all these consonants, T, G, B, D, S, and V. We're going to roll the two dice and look at what possible combinations can come up, combinations of letters like A and T, for example, at. Uh, we can think of that as forming a word. On the other hand, if you put together, uh, let's think Y and G, Y and G came up, G, Y, Y, G, not a word. Okay, so we're looking at rolling two dice and seeing what letters come up. And what I'm interested in is figuring out the probability that when I roll the dice, they will come up with two letters which will allow me to form an actual word. So that's the probability we're going to try to cal calculate here. So the way I can go about doing this, one way, is to form this two-dimensional probability uh, outcome table. So across the top, what I'm going to do is put the letters T, G, B, D, S, and V, all the options that could come up from one of the dice, and all of the possibilities from the other. So then what we would end up doing is looking at, uh, let's just say again, if we rolled the A and the T, we'd get a and T, which of course can form the word at. Now we can do that all the way across for all of the other possibilities as well. So A, G, A and B, A and D, A and S, and A and V. Uh, doesn't really matter what order we put these. It of course, given the question I'm asking, the probability of getting a real word, it's probably a good idea to try to write it in the correct order to be an actual word if it's possible. So E and T, E and G, B, E, I'll write it that way because that is a word. E, D, uh, I won't use names, so I won't count Ed as a word. E, S, E, V, uh, I, T, of course, is a word. I, G, I, B, I, D, also a word. Uh, if you're not sure what that one is, check that out in your dictionary. Uh, T, O, G, O, of course, O, B, D, O, S, O, O, V, uh, U, T, U, G, and U, B, U, D, U, S, us, U, V, Y, T, Y, G, I'll write this one as B, Y for by, Y, D, Y, S, and Y, V. So that's all the possible things that could come up when we roll these two dice, the vowel dice and the consonant one. Now, thinking that we want to figure out what the probability of getting an actual word is, what I might do now is think about the formula for probability. So the formula for probability, of course, is that the probability of whatever it is we're interested in, let's say a real word, that's going to be equal to the number of favorable outcomes, we'll think about what that is in a minute, divided by the number of possible outcomes. Now, in our dice situation, the number of possible outcomes is basically just the number of cells in this table. Okay, there's one possible outcome, there's another, another, and so on. So we have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. 6 times 6, of course. So the number of possible outcomes is 36. On the other hand, the number of favorables, we need to know how many of these cells are going to give us actual real words. So let's go through now and circle those. I think by is a word. I think us is a word. I'm pretty sure none of these others is. Uh, so, do, go, to, it. Uh, id, remember I said is a word. Is, uh, as, and add, and be, and at. All right, I think that's all of them. Uh, so that all together gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 uh, favorable outcomes, 13 possible uh, real words that we could roll here. So that's our number of favorables. So we can slot that in. So our formula is really coming together now. Uh, 13 on 36 is our probability. And if you like, you can of course calculate that on your calculator and figure it out as being about 0.36 or 36 percent. So I'm going to leave that as the probability of getting a real word based on our two dice is about 0.36 or if you like 36 percent. 
Anyway, that is an example of using one of these uh, probability tables and of course the probability formula, number of favorables over number of possibles.